What was that? I don't think I speak four languages anymore. You've got a word. I don't speak any language. I could speak a couple of words. I could speak some very bad ones in German because I had an ex-husband who was German. He taught me all the, all the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lots of fun. Actually, all my marriages have kind of been a United Nations, all different nationalities. Kind of neat, really. <laughs> the UN. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one's called All Great Love Affairs. Now, we've all had a great love affair in our life. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe a bunch, who knows? But we've all had at least one great love affair, I'm pretty sure. And they have uh, something in common, a lot of them. They leave their mark. <laughs> there is a pulling together and rending apart that is basic to and the essence of all great love affairs. Smiles without tears lose their value in a bargain basement of safety nets and guarded hearts. Swimming close to the shore, always able to touch bottom, you never feel the bittersweet thrill of passion's sharp hook sinking into your heart. Jumping in over your head into dangerous, uncharted waters, you feel the thrill of the current, the frenzy of riptides, the angst of the whirlpool that renders you helpless, spinning you every which way but loose, creating seductive storms, burning a hole in your soul and raging tsunamis when even the harshest slice of love's knife soothes the willing heart. Sometimes, deep wounds create beautiful scars, trophies of deep emotions, the residue of all great love affairs. I still wear you like a medal of honor, lest I forget. 